Well, hello, French 3 and Spanish 3 students. Uh, this is Senior Peeper, and I'm here with uh, Assistant Principal Mrs. Summers. Hello. And we want to talk with you for a couple of minutes today about dual credit uh, Spanish and dual credit French for those of you who are thinking of going on to level four next year. Um, many of you are taking level three uh, French or level three Spanish as dual credit this year. Uh, some of you are not, so we want to talk with you about how you could take the course for dual credit next year. Uh, Mrs. Summers oversees uh, Homestead's dual credit program. is going to answer some questions for us today about how dual credit it works in our French 4 and Spanish 4 classes. Uh, Mrs. Summers, for the students who are, who are taking French 3 and Spanish 3 for dual credit this year, um, what will they need to do next fall to take French 4 or Spanish 4 as dual credit? If you're currently in a dual credit course, you just need to enroll with your counselor. Ivy Tech will come in just as they did this fall and get you enrolled and that's all there is to it. Okay, so no test to take if they're doing it right now. Exactly right. Okay. All you have to do is sign up and you will be accepted. Okay. Uh, not all of our students took French 3 or Spanish 3 as dual credit this year. Uh, let's say, for example, that uh, a handful of students decide over the summer they would like to take French 4 or Spanish 4 as dual credit next year, but they did not do it this year. What would those students need to do between now and sometime next fall? Spanish 4 and French 4 are the equivalent of Spanish 201 and French 201. And as is frequently too, true in many college courses, a 200 level class requires prerequisite courses. Mm -hmm. So you cannot enroll in a 201 world language course if you haven't had 101 and 102. So for those of you that did not take dual credit in Spanish 3 or French 3, you have to prove that you have the skills from that level, the 101 and 102 courses. To do so, you will take a nationally known test called the CLEP exam. The CLEP exam is designed for this very purpose. It's to show a college that you have a certain level of skill in French or Spanish. So sometime this summer, you would need to go out to IPFW, Indiana Wesleyan, Ivy Tech, um, most universities in our area, and take the CLEP exam. If you score high enough, you would be allowed to enroll in the level four course as a dual credit course. Okay, and if students um, decide they don't want to take it as dual credit, they would just take French four or Homestead, or French four or, or Spanish four for Homestead credit only, correct? Exactly right. Just as last year, if you were sitting in a French three or a Spanish three course, there were some students in there earning dual credit and some students were not. The experience was exactly the same, whether you were receiving high school credit or both high school and college credit. So if you choose to continue on with French and Spanish 4 and you haven't had dual credit up to this point, no problem. You can continue on and earn the high school credit just as you did last year. Okay. And Mrs. Summers did put a packet together with some information about how to sign up for the CLEF test. So if for some reason, again, you didn't take it as dual credit this year, but you would like to take the course as dual credit next year, uh, stop by and see me, stop by and see Mrs. Summers, and we have a packet we can give you about how to sign up for the test and some study materials as well. Exactly, and I believe those materials are on my big campus oh, okay, as well. Great, great. Uh, and so a lot of times students will ask about the, um, if the credits will transfer to IU, Purdue, Ball State. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about how the credits transfer to universities when students leave Homestead? Absolutely. Because these are what's called core transfer library courses, in the state of Indiana, any public institution will take these classes. Of course, Homestead can make no guarantees mm -hmm. on the transferability because that is a decision colleges make. But you will find when you contact the schools that you're considering going to that most of the ones that you contact will take these courses for both French and Spanish credit. It's very important that you contact the admissions office of the colleges you're considering and they can give you all the information about how these courses will transfer. But we have found in our experiences so far that the public institutions in the state of Indiana will take those credits um, as credits. The letter grade does not go along with you, but the credit hours do. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Mrs. Summers, for, for clarifying kind of how, how dual credit works for next year. If you have any questions about, again, Spanish 4 or French 4 dual credit, again, please speak with your Spanish teacher, see your guidance counselor, stop by and see Mrs. Summers, feel free to stop by and see me, and we'll try to help you. Very right. good. Thanks.